Peace, love, and light, my beautiful divine masculine lines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading. This is going to be a peaky peek. See what's coming in, going out, going on with the divine masculine lines. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls, have been enjoying your holy days, your time with your family. Hopefully, you've been reflecting, you've been mastering your craft, honing your skills, and just staying out of the way during this Mars, uh, Mars, excuse me, retrograde, um, you know, as we can see what's going on in mainstream media, you know, through multiple different uh, platforms, um, you know, there's just been a lot of, of energy, um, as I've mentioned in the very top of the month of November, um, I was feeling the intensity of this energy, uh, I mentioned in um, I believe it was the Scorpio reading uh, to just lay low, you know, to use this time to really just um, work on yourselves, to do a lot of internal work, to even prepare for the new year. So perhaps setting up vision boards, even um, just mastering your craft, like I said, honing your skills, being in a studious energy, researching information um, that you've um, been really eager to, to research. Um, even rereading some of your uh, journals, you know, some of your entries, it could be refreshing to see uh, where you were um, and where you are now. So you could see that growth uh, just by rereading some of your, your, your journals, some of your um, manifestation journals even. Um, this is a really powerful time right now. Uh, you know, scorpionic energy always brings forth uh, change, shifts, um, transformation, death, um, and rebirth, you know, re-emerging uh, someone new. So I will that you all have been, you know, sharpening your sword, so to speak, um, learning, uh, growing, and staying out of the way. Um, everything is everything on my side of the planet. Uh, as I said, I wanted to do a reading for you all. If you are new, I welcome you to the platform. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that there's a message here that resonates with you um, and that my energy, my vibe, the way that I read uh, resonates with you, that you, you can rock with my type of energy. <laughs> um, and if that's the case, then, you know, at the end of the reading, if you feel so inclined, hit that like button, subscribe to the Soul Tribe, Soul Family, um, and hit the notification bell uh, because I do post um, sporadically. It's whenever spirit uh, you know, tends to tell me to do a reading. So it's not a daily thing with me. Um, that's not my forte. I usually read um, or generally read when spirit tells me to do so. So today is one of those days uh, for the yin and the yang readings uh, that I'm pushing out. So right now I'm starting with the yang. And after this, I will proceed with the yin reading. Uh, if you are returning, beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, if you are new here, uh, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am clear audience, so you will hear me reference songs, um, lyrics in the song, name of the song, maybe even the name of the artist. Uh, and you will also hear me from time to time um, mention like a time stamp. And the way that it works is the, what I'm channeling intuitively as well as what comes out with the tarot cards will uh, marry, will blend, will resonate with what is coming out clairaudiently through the music that I am playing. And it all just blends very beautifully. Uh, Shay. So right now what we have playing is Nas. Um, this is his magic album and the song that's playing right now is speech speechless so maybe someone is going to have you uh or leave you speechless maybe something someone does leaves you speechless uh maybe something someone says to you will leave you speechless when you're speechless it's usually because you're taking aback um maybe you're trying to process what was just said maybe you're trying to process what just happened but there's um you know almost like uh, um, a delay in response, um, a verbal response. Um, maybe someone just does something that is really um, thoughtful for you and you're speechless. Um, maybe this is what's going to happen during, um, you know, gift giving day, uh, presents day or Christmas day, whatever you call it. Uh, someone may give someone a gift or extend some sort of um, 
you know, kind gesture and it will leave another person speechless. Or maybe, as I said, someone, you know, may say something um, that will leave you speechless. I feel that this could be either your energy or someone that is coming in um, towards you who could uh, be the reason as to why someone is speechless. I feel initially what I felt was um, speechless in a good way. Speechless like, you know, like you, 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 you take that deep inhale, like, oh my God, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, so it's, it's something that is, um, I'm picking up on a positive um, energy. I'm not picking up anything like bad news coming in or anything to that nature. Um, although there are, uh, you know, I am seeing, uh, you know, maybe some news uh, may hit someone and it can be uh, something um, that wasn't expected. So an unexpected message, you know, um, I do feel this could also be like past energy uh, because as we started off this month, it was a lot of, um, there was a lot happening. Um, we had, you know, we had uh, the beloved brother take off, be murdered. We had, you know, um, several mass shootings. Um, so maybe this is what I'm picking up on, you know, also. Because I was getting initially like it was good energy, like you're going to be speechless in a good way. But then maybe this, you know, and the spirit is showing me like, no, this could be past energy as well. So this month alone could have left a lot of you speechless. Just, you know, just how... Um, how heavy, you know, the energy has been, you know, we topped off the month with takeoffs, um, transition into the spirit realm. And then we saw, you know, several mass shootings. Um, my daughter came home from work the other day and one of her colleagues, um, was murdered, you know, by some 50 year old man. He's in his twenties. He was murdered by some 50 year old man and this is someone that she worked with um, so there's just been a lot of really heavy energy um, and that's exactly what Mars brings it brings war death um, destruction um, you know it, it, it's really a heavy energy we saw even with the sister you know um, in Charlotte um, who was literally brutally beaten to death by people that she was calling friends um, to go on, you know, a trip to Mexico and never return home alive. You know, um, her bestie, you know, was in on the plot to take her out. So it's it's really, um, you know, heavy energy and it, it will linger until uh, the new year. So it would behoove you to continue doing what you're doing, mastering your craft, honing your skills gifts, talents, reading, researching, um, journaling, um, just, you know, becoming a better version of yourselves. I feel like this is going to keep you out of the, out of the mix, out of all of the nonsense, and it will keep you focused on your craft, on your direction, on your, um, journey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't let anybody pull you in or suck you into attending certain functions or going to certain places if you don't feel so. Um, if you don't feel like going, you know, um, don't allow other people to pressure you. Um, you know, when you're younger, when you're an adolescent, you can tend to be peer pressured a lot. Um, when you're an adult, the same thing applies. Don't allow yourselves to be peer pressured or talked into something that your spirit, your gut, your intuition, um, gut instinct is telling you um, not to do. Uh, I don't care who it is. It could be Beyonce telling me to come with her somewhere. I'm not going. <laughs> you don't talk about like it could be anybody that's encouraging you to go somewhere and don't allow yourselves to to be um, persuaded to do something um, that you initially weren't wanting to do, weren't going to do. Uh, because persuasion is just another word for manipulation. You know, they, they guilt trip you into saying yes when your initial answer was no. When you say, nah, I, don't, I really don't feel like it, that should be respected. But a lot of time people push the boundaries and say, ah, oh, come on, you really need to come because you promised me last time. There goes the guilt tripping. 
or you know what I'm saying so go with your gut instinct go with what your your um, intuition is telling you to do don't allow anybody per to persuade you or guilt trip you into doing things that you otherwise may not feel like doing okay now I do feel spirit is telling me to go circle right back around to the word speechless now I do feel that there are going to be some positive moments of speechlessness you know someone is going to receive some good news um, in addition so it could be you know either or is what I'm picking up um, it could be either or so some of you all are coming into you know a, a, a moment of, of clarity I feel because someone is going to either confess something um, express something um, reveal something that you may not have known and it's really going to um, leave someone speechless so that was a lot um, I'm picking up on that energy just from the song speechless by Nas um, and so let's proceed with the read before we delve any deeper let's go ahead and do some house cleaning I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother Gaia universe source the divine most high God our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light I call personally upon Baba Obatala Mama Oya Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be ashe 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 beloved so let's go ahead proceed with the read we're going to start off with the numerology deck and then we shall you know um proceed and see what else comes out with the tarot cards this will be, um, it, it will be a deep dive, of course, you know, all of my readings tend to be deep dives. I like to provide clear and concise messages for you all, and that's what we're going to do, uh, right? So, on the bottom of the numerology deck, I have the, um, the intuition card. It's 22, so uh, just as I said trust your intuition your inner gumption um, do not allow yourselves to be persuaded or talked into things trust your intuition um, use discernment in matters um, you know in circumstances uh, that involve other people you know um, trust what your gut tell instinct tells you to do you know don't allow yourselves as I've mentioned to to be guilt tripped um, into doing things um, I strongly feel like spirit is saying uh, even um, because this is the number 22, 22 reduces to four. Um, and four is your number. You are the divine masculine. You are the emperor. You are the Lord, the God. So trust your intuition. Move to the beat of your drum. Do things the way you see fit uh, because you are the authoritarian. You are that divine masculine. So it's like spirit is telling you not to go against the grain in that regard trust your intuition um, there's going to be something that calls for you to do so as well um, so what we have playing right now is we have Santana and this is called evil ways and this is from Woodstock this was recorded in 1969 and if you look there you see that and it says 1969 1969 breaks down to seven all right so seven is associated with the crown chakra we are holding the intuition card in my hand I'm going to split now to see what it um, what the um, split card is all right so look what we have we have 30 uh, I mean we have three and we have four so this is the number of who this is the number of the divine feminine and the divine masculine all right and this is creativity card number three so this is the empress energy and the emperor straight out the gate and so with evil ways I feel like spirit is saying because this three and four shows like this is balance this also reduces to the seven so the seven that I just referenced from 1969 and it says evil ways so the seven is telling me spirit is absolutely telling you to do exactly as I've said follow your gut instincts your gumption 
You know what I'm talking about? Like, because there are things around you. Um, there are people that may have some evil tendencies, some evil intentions, and you are the master uh, soul controller of your destiny. So you have to be in harmony with yourself, in balance, mind, body, and soul, so as not to be led astray, so as not to be pulled in a direction that you are not meant to go. People come into your life for reasons, seasons, or for a lifetime. Circumstances can lead to a lifetime learning experience if you go against your own gut instinct. So spirit is telling you straight off from the gate with this three and this 22, which is four, that's seven. This is telling you trust your own intuition, your gut instinct. Whatever spirit is placing before you, um, it's like follow that path. You know what I'm talking about? When he shows you the seven, that is associated with the crown chakra. So this is really cerebral energy, high energy. Psychic abilities are very fine-tuned or activated. I feel like you are um, perhaps experiencing a sense of heightened, um, you know, maybe even uh, uh, clair clairvoyance. Uh, maybe clairsentience I'm hearing even maybe you're just picking up on things um, very very powerfully like psychically or maybe you are um, you know having some really lucid dreams at this time um, but I do feel like this is spirit saying um, that you are in harmony with the three and the four that's like yin and yang so I do feel like you're in control of your the direction um things will be going because this three and four reduces to seven that seven is associated with the chariot so i feel like there is this level of confidence or assertiveness that you will be um that you are you know um that sh that's inspiring you um and you're moving in the direction that you see best fit for you uh perhaps moving away from a situation with that evil ways um, very interesting card. I mean, song, name of a song. So I have a card that just popped out as I was doing the shuffle, and it's the number 96, forgiveness. So perhaps Spirit is saying that someone could have done um, evil, could have done some things, um, could have been someone who could have wronged you in some way. Um, they had some evil tendencies, as I said, some evil intention. Uh, but Spirit is saying, you know, forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is for you. This word forgiveness has been coming out a lot. It has been coming out so much that I feel like some of you all may be um, just carrying around a lot of resentment and animosity and even anger. And if you don't heal that, it turns into the vengeance. It turns into... Um, just toxic emotions um, it could even cause you know high blood pressure because you're allowing someone external to yourself to stress you out so if spirit is saying like the act in the art of forgiveness is for you um, it takes someone that's very strong and also someone who's healed themselves to be able to forgive another person for their wrongdoing. I also feel because this is 96, I feel like spirit is saying, um, use discernment in matters concerning others. Um, you could always show compassion to a person regardless of what has transpired um, currently or even in the past. Like you could always deal with people, treat people with a forgiving heart because that's what universe source divine expects from us you can forgive those for they know not what they do um you know but you don't have to resort back to uh being available for them um or you know putting your boundaries down or your guard down um you still deal with them accordingly but you forgive them so as not to be um you know energetically tied to that person um because there is a soul tie that happens when you First of all, when you come into partnership, union, loveship, friendship, relationship with other people, those are um, spiritual ties that you uh, begin to weave with that individual. And then when there's a breakdown in that relationship um, and there's betrayal, deceit, a lack of trust, um, backstabbing, lies, whatever, um, you're still energetically tied to that person. 
So now if you're walking around with anger, even though you may not be communicating with them, um, but you're still walking around with anger and frustration, uh, what happens is um, you're still carrying that person around energetically. So it's like you're still dragging that that energy, that person around with you, even though you may not be communicating with them daily or you may not be dealing with them, but energetically you're carrying around that baggage. So that's why it's important to forgive. So forgiveness is for you. It's a way to show compassion. It's a way to be empath empathic and to um, forgive people, like I said, because they know not what they do. Most times people are um, dealing with their own drama and trauma from their childhood and most people don't know how to heal that or when to heal that or what steps to take to heal it. And that's why you bump into certain people that trigger you to do some soul work, to do some, you know, some self-analysis. And I feel like with this, this situation, um, we have Whitney Houston singing, my love is your love, you know. So with my love is your love, I feel like, you know, that's very similar to love is love is love. It's like regardless of what may have transpired, um, it doesn't mean that, you know, that situation or that person loved you any less. Maybe there was a, a, a circumstance where you were, you know, with an, uh, um, your counterpart and maybe there was a lack of trust um, in that relationship. Someone could have stepped outside, outside of the relationship, um, you know, and so this is why spirit is saying forgiveness because if you don't ever forgive that person what happens is you could you know develop a new relationship and the same lack of trust those same trust issues that you had with that former person you will find it uh you know lingering you know or headwaying into this new partnership so that's why my love is your love so you, you have to learn to love people um you know differently if you will uh, because if, if if there's someone that has wronged you forgiveness is definitely going to help you to heal uh, from whatever um, betrayal whatever deceit whatever lies whatever may have transpired infidelities um, you know whatever's transpired it will give you an opportunity to heal that and to see like okay that person you know is the culprit not all men not all women are the culprit it's like looking at the individual and then identifying um you know those areas where they need work where they're still you know damaged in some way and so that is why you forgive because a lot of times people don't know why they do what they do they just do it because maybe in some instances it's habitual because this is all they know Maybe that's the environment they grew up in. Maybe this is what they learned during those formative years um, where they never really fully um, trusted another person. So they always juggled. Uh, maybe they were afraid, you know, to to love because maybe they had their heart broken the first time they thought they loved someone. So it could be a number of reasons. Maybe the mother uh, broke their heart. And so all women... Um, are perceived as the enemy all women are the culprits all women are going to be guilty of you know whatever abandonment um, cheating whatever it is so it's really hard uh, when people are battling childhood uh, trauma or dealing with childhood trauma I should say and then they enter into a relationship uh, trying to be uh, all giving or trying to um, extend themselves in a way that they don't even know how to they don't even begin to know how to do it so what we have playing right now is the eurythmics um and this is called um would i lie to you would i lie to you so this this with this forgiveness so maybe someone is coming back and like i said um with speechless someone is going to reveal something you know, this could be that conversation where I felt like there was going to be a revelation, a, con uh, a confession, or someone who's going to um, just speak some sort of truth that someone is not expecting and it's going to leave them speechless. Uh, maybe this is what's going to lead to forgiveness because maybe now you'll have more of the backstory. Uh, someone's name could be Annick, Annie, um, Dave, Stuart, first, middle, or last. 
So someone's saying, would I lie to you? Like, think about it. Would I do this? Or think about it. Like somebody's going to, almost, it's almost like they're, um, you know, lighting some sort of, um, you know, they're sparking some sort of, um, you know, they're, they're causing someone to, to think back, to reflect back, you know, because they're like, would I lie to you? Like, come on, think about it. Think about what I'm saying. Does it even make sense? And I feel like this is the first conversation in a long time. All right, my spirit. So this was the uh, bonus card that jumped out. It was forgiveness. Um, and I do feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition. Use discernment. Because we had the 22-4 um, uh, intuition card. And then we also had that 3 creativity card. Um, which is really about... You know, the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine, which is creation. Um, you also could uh, have someone that could be telling you that they are pregnant with child. Uh, because that creativity card, uh, someone could be birthing a child. Um, you may discover that you are a father. Um, maybe this is going to be the consensus, like the community, the conversation rather. Um if someone could be coming to you and confessing like, look, I just found out I'm pregnant. I'm like 22 weeks. Um, you know, I'm seven weeks. Uh, maybe someone that you haven't spoken to is returning back to you seven months pregnant. Um, and it's going to leave you speechless. And you're going to be like, is that my baby? Like, how do you know that's my baby? And this person may respond like, um, would I lie to you? And you're going to be really upset, you know, because you feel like they, you know, kept it from you didn't allow you to be a part of the process and I feel like maybe that's why spirit is coming out the gate with forgiveness um, but we shall see so let's cut the deck see what's coming in going out going on so we got our bonus message forgiveness maybe you need to forgive maybe someone is going to uh, show you forgiveness all right and so we have 91 surrender here so surrender. So spirit is telling you, don't be a hard ass. Like surrender, be open, be receptive. You know, I feel like there's a, a, some energy of like stubbornness. There was some stubborn. There was some. Someone was being stubborn, hard headed. Someone was definitely um, resisting. I'm hearing resisting. And it was because they were judging another person. There was a lot of judgment. This 91 reduces to 10, so that means that there's um, someone is finally like, you know, finally giving in, you know, trusting spirit, no longer trying to control the narrative. Maybe someone was playing hard, a hard ass, playing hard to get, and spirit is just like, look, surrender and forgive. This 96 and this 91, that reduces to 7. So this is about assertiveness, confidence. This is also about personal growth. Someone had to learn some things. Seven is associated with the crown. The crown is really how you receive those divine interventions, downloads, transmissions. It's how you connect with your higher self. It's how you receive, you know, spiritual guidance. It's also associated with that chariot. So I feel like there's a sense that someone's moving out of this, this like very stagnant, energy or this like woe is me energy and moving on and we have stevie wonder golden lady and it says inner vision so it's almost like someone has um done some self-analysis has a self assessed themselves done some internal deep dives and it's like now they're realizing it's like dang you know i was very judgmental with golden lady, it's like someone is seeing someone, uh, maybe you're seeing someone as um, very beautiful, regal, royal, attractive, wise, very feminine, very domestic, very nurturing, very loving, caring, very emotionally intelligent, available, affectionate. It's like with gold, gold is, you know, that's a color of abundance, that's a color of prosperity that's a color of um just um it's like blessings it's like a gift 
And with inner vision, I feel like there was some sort of awakening. So when you surrender, it's like you're giving in, you know, and taking action. I feel like whoever this is that was like stuck, it's like they had to see something because both of these cards have purple on the inside of the symbols here. So one card is blue. The other card is red. Or is that orange? I can never tell the red from the orange because they look so similar. But it's like purple is on the inside. That's what I was really focusing on. And that purple deals with the cerebral. So that's the, the inner vision. Like somebody seeing something. It's like that epiphany. It's like that, that moment of clarity or light bulb moment has gone off. On the bottom of the deck we have completion. So there's a wrapping up of a cycle. And the date of um, this song. It says August 3rd, 1973. So that reduces to, um, so August 3rd, that's 11, and this is 13. So this reduces to 13 when you do the math on 8, 3, that's 11, 19, that's 1, 73, that's 1. So that's that's 13. So there was a major transformation. There was definitely something that transformed. There was a death. And I just saw 31, 31 when I lifted up the um, cloth here. So this is non-completion. So there was definitely some sort of death, a transformation. Someone emerged, someone completely new. And this is what's leading to um, the completion or wrapping up of a cycle. Something's coming full circle. Someone sees you as completely transformed with Golden Lady here. So you've you've you something's come full circle. Something has happened. Something has transpired, and someone sees. I feel like someone sees you now, in your true light, because we have this inner 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 vision. So it's like now. It's, it's, it's making more sense. Something's coming to light. Or something has already come to light. That you are the golden lady. Someone's name could be Stevie. I feel like this person wonders a lot about like what you're up to. If they haven't spoken to you. Maybe this is someone you're thinking about. With this golden lady. Someone may see you. You know. Um, maybe you see someone as this golden lady. Let me see. Let me tap in. So what do we have coming in? What is has um let me see. So these these two cards were bonuses because this 96 fell out and then this is um so this is the energy the overall energy is the 96 forgiveness and the 91 for for um surrender. So let's pull the energy for the person you're attracting to you. My Divine Masculines, let's see, who is this that our beautiful Divine Masculines are attracting to them? Look what flew right back out. So we have, I thought it was um, the creativity card, but what it is is parenting. 63, number 9. So I'm getting that energy that I was picking up on. Someone that you all could have had a child with and you may not have known. This person is like pregnant. I'm getting that energy. Someone found out that they are with child because we got the 63 parents in 63. That's nine. And it takes nine months for a child to be born. So someone could be returning back to you and telling you that they are pregnant, that they have a child. They are pregnant with your child. And I feel like this is going to change something with this. Um, Number five, change. This is um, how they feel about you. And then we also have 32, music. So music is you guys' is sanctuary. I feel like some of you all could also be like Claire Audion as well. And the song that's playing right now is Jodeci, Cry For You. So I feel like whoever this divine feminine is, 
whoever's pregnant, maybe you all already have children, a child's mother, maybe this is someone that you are estranged from, you're no longer communicating, but maybe there is going to be a moment where you, you go towards them. Remember we had evil ways playing earlier by Santana. And the alarm is going off like the, the sirens are going off. And the fire trucks. I'm just trying to let them go by. But I will. Everyone is safe and healthy. So someone is crying for you. You know, whoever this is, it says parenting. You know, um, with this parenting card, this could be some of you all, like I said, some, maybe there's some news coming in. You know, there could be some some news, you know. And I was picking up initially, like, you know, some good news coming in. But then I was picking up on some really challenging news that could potentially be coming in as well. So I don't know if this is going to involve a parent or if this is involving, like, your children's mother. Or maybe some of you all, this is going to involve... That one night stay in the you had nine months ago or eight and a half months ago. And they could be calling you and telling you like, look, I'm pregnant with your child. Whatever the case may be, maybe someone's healing from childhood trauma, childhood issues. Someone has had some sort of um, some sort of epiphany. I feel someone cries for you or maybe you cry for another person. And it says Diary of a Mad Band. So this is what, you know, like I said, maybe some of you all are rereading like your, your journals, your diaries, your entries, if you keep those. And you maybe you're seeing how far you've come. Maybe you're seeing um, how much far, you know, how much further you need to go, you know. But I do feel like someone is like shedding tears over a person over a situation and with this parenting I just keep feeling like someone is pregnant with child but I see also in what's hidden in the energy with change I feel like there's a positive change that's taking place because this is an all solid like aqua color you know and that that color reminds me of like the ocean the water so someone's going through some sort of like healing process like they're being rejuvenated their spirit is being like cleansed purified they're clean clearing and cleansing themselves making positive changes you know someone has shed a lot of tears because i do feel like there was a lot of distance there was no communication and i feel like it's because you know someone struggled with forgiveness it's easy for someone on the out to say forgive someone that could have did you dirty you know, I know the feeling. You know, I know what it feels like to be betrayed, backstabbed, especially by people you love, you went above and beyond for. Um, but I also know the importance of forgiveness and how um, stronger it made me. And so I feel like that's what some, some of you all need to do is to forgive. That is the next hump. It's like you've been doing a lot of the work on the self. You've been doing a lot of work, like even just identifying certain habits, behaviors, um, belief systems that no longer serve you, that you've outgrown. You know, as you mature, as you grow up, certain things you may have believed in your 16, you know, in your teens and your young adulthood, like your 20s, you know, when you get 30 something, 40 something, 50 something, and so on, so forth and so on, it's like your perspective changes, as it should, because you're growing, you're evolving. So should your thoughts, your belief systems, so should your perspective you know, with the with the the more experience you have, the sharper you should become. And so I feel like there's there's some positive changes. That five is associated with the hierophant. So this wasn't a change you just made on your own. This was a change that you was guided to make. This was a change that led to spiritual strength, to you having a more um, a, a stronger connection to your spirit guides, you know, even tapping into your intuition, your discernment, your psychic powers, that's a part of you doing this work. 
you know, doing that work on the self. You know, maybe some of you all did go and start reading your basic instructions before leaving Earth or start reading certain, doc, you know, doctrines and materials um, to find that sense of enlightenment and it awakened you. Maybe you were sitting under the feet of a master teacher or Reiki healer, uh, you know, practitioner, a shaman, um, a light worker, you know, spiritual practitioner. And this changed your perspective, changed your whole approach, you know, to relationships, changed your perspective on even commitment in relationships. What's playing right now is we have SWV always on my mind and we are about to build on the number 32 music, which is the outcome. So it's saying that there is someone that is always on your mind or someone is always, um, you're always on someone else's mind. And this is called Sisters with Voices, the name of the group, SWV. That's what the acronym stands for. So I feel like there is a woman, a feminine, you know, for sisters. Um, I feel like there's a feminine that always thinks of you. Always, she's always thinking of you, and she mostly thinks of you um, when she plays music. There's a song in particular, perhaps, that she may play, and it makes her think of you. It makes her, um, you know, perhaps maybe um, reminisce, reflect. And with this 32, I do feel like there's going to be a conversation that does ensue, like there's going to be a follow-up conversation on the bottom of the deck. We have the number four, Perseverance. So I do see that there's been some growth, like you have grown tremendously, Divine Masculines. Like you've persevered through a great deal and you've also learned to heal thyself. You've been healing yourselves. I see you growing and healing, maturing. You know, I see that there's been a lot of, of um, growth on your behalf. And I feel it's also, um, you know, like you've grown emotionally as well. Like you've grown emotionally intelligent. That four is associated with the Divine Masculine. And we saw that in the very beginning of the reading, that number 22, which reduces to four, breaks down. And I didn't say, you know, in the beginning because, you know, sometimes I feel like a broken record reiterating things. But I know there are new readers that may you know, watch these um, videos and they may not know how I interpret the reading, but that 2-2, two, two, whenever I see double numbers, that does give me, um, you know, an inclination that you're mirroring the energy of someone that is uh, coming in. So twos are associated with the high priestess. Twos also represent, um, you know, a decision or direction. Someone being torn between two people, two ideas, two circumstances, two places. Um, and so there's heavy, um, you know, there's heavy reflection, but with that four perseverance on the bottom of the deck, it just shows how much you've grown. It shows the depths of, um, that you took to, to heal yourself. All green is associated with growth. Green is associated with the heart chakra. So you've learned, um, self love. You've learned that love is an inside job. That's powerful. So let's clarify these messages. So on the bottom of the Psychic Tarot deck, we have the Power card. So this is beautiful. So this shows that you are in your power, especially when you um, surrender to spirit. It's like you're no longer trying to control the narrative, control the situation, control even the outcome. It's like you're just surrendering. No longer are you hard-headed and stubborn. It's like you realize that you are um, very much the weaver of your destiny, you know, the master of your destiny. You know, if you see this man, he's like half man, half lion. And I'm hearing Nas say half man, half amazing. So this is someone, you know, who has uh, really transformed and they have taken their power back. You know, this eight is the number of strength. You know, it's also the infinity symbol sideways. So it's like, you know that you have infinite possibilities. This is also, you know, um, 
some sort of blessing, wish fulfillment. You're in your power, so you know how to manifest. You know how to, you know, channel that inner magi, that inner alchemist. You know how to utilize the elements around you. The lion is the king of the jun jungle. And so you're taking on this persona where you are, um, you know, feeling, you know, that sense of um, equilibrium, mind, body, and soul. You know, this is the energy of, you know, that divine masculine, someone who is very powerful. And that's why I was saying with the forgiveness 96 and the surrender 1, that reduces to 7. So that's the energy of you, like, moving forward assertively, confidently, powerfully. And it's because you took your power back. It's like you took your power back. What didn't kill you made you stronger. And I was picking up on transformation earlier like you've transformed it was major transformations that's why the perseverance card is showing up on the bottom of the deck number uh, four because it's like you defy the odds whatever was up against you it's like you powered through it and you took your power back on the split we have patience so good things take time to create patience is also a form of action and so this shows like this is what you had to do you had to patiently tend to these circumstances it wasn't an easy feat but it's like you you was very patient in this process 14 breaks down to five so that's what you did you tapped into your your spiritual you know and and um creative gifts artistic gifts that five is associated with the throat chakra and the throat is about expression not just communicating and expressing yourself through that means but it's also about your expression artistically or creatively and as you can see you know this feminine is like you know there's a seed in her hand and that seed as you can see she is you know setting the intention and it's growing it's blossoming into a beautiful flower and you could also see on her crown there is what appears to be like a headdress with the moon phases on it and so it's showing that she's been manifesting in this process she's learned her gifts her skills her talent she's learned what her purpose is perhaps so it's like patience is a form of action so you've been very proactive you know very proactive in this process regardless of you know this being this energy of a little stagnancy because you of stubbornness you know, of the refusal refusal of taking action. It's like you were still um, you were still honing your skills, gifts, and talents. You were still watering, you know, those seeds. You know, cultivating the earth and and and, and planting seeds and growing. And look what flew right back out. This eight power. So this is your energy right now. That's what spirit is saying. It's more powerful for you to forgive. You know. Because you know who you are. It doesn't take anything away from you forgiving another person for something they've done to you. What it does is it empowers you even more. Because you're the bigger person. And this 8, this 96 and 8 reduces to 14 and that's 5. And again, 5 is you honing your skills. That's a studious energy. And that's what you had to do. The eight is associated. I always see the eight as a star as well. You know, the star card. Someone that, you know, is really healing. Someone that has stripped themselves. Like they turn their vulnerabilities into a superpower. You know, and they've learned how to co-create with source. Sent up prayers, petitions, affirmations, daily mantras. And that's what's also led to someone being able to forgive. Because it's like it didn't stop, it didn't stunt your growth, it didn't stunt you, it didn't stop you from making those power moves, it didn't stop you from healing. And we have Red Man tonight's the night. And I want to say, Rising Power to Hurricane G, she just passed away a few weeks ago. So tonight's the night, the light goes off for someone. Remember, we had, um, Inner Vision, Stevie Wonder, you know, Golden Lady, and we got this 91 Surrender. So someone, some of you all, look at this. I can't make this up. This is the 91, and this is 19. So these are the same cards 
you know, kind of like um, reversed. You know, 19 is 91 backwards. And so it's like this is why you're surrendering because you're having some sort of light bulb moment. For some of you all, tonight's going to be the night that you see something from a completely different vantage point. Maybe this person will reach out and communicate. There's a different course of action some of you all are taking with 91. 91 reduces to 10. So it's the death of being hard-headed, hard-headed, stubborn, standoffish. It's the death of that because 91 or 10s represent endings. This also, this is the light. So that 10, what does it become? It becomes 1. So you have one, one. So someone's making a decision. And tonight, the decision is going to be made. If it's not tonight, it will be perhaps within 19 days, perhaps 10 days, perhaps two days, two weeks, 10 months. Whatever the case may be, I'm getting two. Maybe in the month of February, I feel like there's absolutely going to be illumination and clarity. Seeing something for the first time. But someone is absolutely making a decision. This is like a, a decision. Making a decision to go in a different direction because this is the overall energy. Someone needed to see the light. Maybe they was in a dark place and now they're coming out of that dark place into the light. Look what we have here. Hope. There goes the star card that I was just talking about. I told you eights always remind me of, you know, the star, wish fulfillment. So that 17 breaks down to eight. So someone's absolutely been holding on to like hope. You know, that's that's what I was feeling. Like someone's been, you know, really still just doing what they have to do to better themselves, like praying, sending up prayers, petitions, uh, absolutely turning their vulnerabilities into like a superpower, you know, not giving in based off of how things may appear, still being hopeful, still being diligent, still being, you know, um, you know, focused on whatever it is um, that they're desiring to acquire or to access. It's like there's still there's still hope here, you know. This is like they're still praying, they're still wishing, they're still speaking to their guides, their angels, their ancestors. How they feel about you is they're hoping that you will accept them because they have definitely have been praying for this situation to turn around. And this is the 63 parenting card that I'm about to clarify. So what I'm seeing is this person is hoping that you will be... Um, willing to, to play your part. I feel like this is someone who could be definitely coming and saying, look, I am pregnant. This is someone that could be giving birth to a child. Y'all could be finding out about a baby with this parenting. Maybe some of you all are, you know, co-parenting with the mother's of your children, your child. Some of you may have different um, children's mothers because you may have more than one and you may have more than one child's mother. So it's like maybe with one of those children's mothers, um, there could be some sort of breakthrough. Maybe you've been hoping to get back together um, or maybe they've been hoping to get back together with you to co-parent but let's proceed let's see so I'm seeing hope so I'm seeing wish fulfillment I'm seeing someone praying you know divine spirit of love and light you know children are miracles you know to bear a child to give birth to a child it is a blessing you know so maybe that is something you all desire maybe you don't have children and you're going to find out some positive news. So I have a card. So we got mental conflict that just flew out. So there's someone. And this is the number two. So someone has had you all stressed. How they feel about you. Is they feel a little conflicted. They're in two minds. 
maybe someone's unsure as to who the father may be as to who the father of their child may be so this could be causing them a lot of mental anguish and the plot thickens beloveds someone is up in their head stressed the er out and we have Wawa Watson with Herbie Hancock and this is um hang up your hang ups it says um hang up your hang ups that's the name of the song and this was done in 1976 which is 7 7 that's 14 that's 5 so someone could be mentally conflicted because they have something they want to say maybe this person hung up on the phone hung up on you on the phone maybe this person has some 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 sort of hang-ups they're very confused very anxious very stressed and on the bottom of the deck we have harmony so maybe this is someone that caused you a lot of stress and frustration in the past and they are really um, and it was due in part to like maybe they were overwhelmed and I just feel like they are in two minds maybe it's because as I said how they feel about you maybe they feel you you can't see them for who they truly are maybe they feel a lack of respect maybe they feel like you don't see them in their true light very interesting on the bottom of the deck we have harmony and this is the number six so this would be like the lovers and we're about to clarify what's hidden in the energy which is the number five change so this is like a twin flame union the lovers I'm getting from the six harmony card so this is like a very um, sacred connection this is a very loving connection this is a connection that is um, predestined preordained this is synergy I feel like this is something that could lead to marriage I feel like there's a very profound love attraction admiration this is the positive change something you don't see that's coming and I feel like this is a very loving union as way as well excuse me this person may feel like if they reach out to you you may hang up on them so this causes them stress you know this person feels like you wouldn't be receptive and that's probably why spirit puts surrender and the light next to one another this person how they feel about you is definitely like they feel like you are confused angry even because this is these this is the energy they feel about you is the parenting and the mental conflict so that's how they feel about you and I feel like maybe this is a little bit of projection you know they could be projecting whatever anxiousness stress fears onto you it's like people can only see from their scope you know they can only see you from their lens but what's hidden is there's harmony there's a positive change that's taking place I feel like things can be very fluid in fact all right so we have un um, universe on the bottom of the deck and temptation the number 15 fell out so this is showing me that there is with that 15 that reduces to six so there is a level of like perhaps someone has some things 
that they are dealing with, whether it be addictions, afflictions, um, fears, obsession, habits, behavior. There's something that they are doing or partaking in that isn't healthy. Um, the devil is the master manipulator. So there could be someone who's going through some sort of startling metamorphosis and they could have some people around them that are trying to distract them. A thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. Whatever this is, this is something that likes to tempt. So someone feels tempted. They see, the devil sees someone's trying to change. You know, someone is working on changing themselves and they're coming through to tempt them off their path or off some sort of um, particular journey and what this individual will have to do is to aid the ignorance to not give everything their attention and I keep hearing wah 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 even though it's wah wah Watson I'm hearing like a baby wah, <laughs> wah. I'm like I don't know why I'm hearing like a baby cry so if someone does come around saying like, oh, I'm pregnant and it's yours, of course, get a DNA, you know. Definitely get a DNA test done. Because it could be that someone just knows the type of person you are and that you would step up to, you know, the challenge and take care of your responsibilities. And so maybe they're trying to put the child on you. For that reason alone. So just be mindful. But with this temptation. I'm also feeling like. Don't allow somebody to come around and confuse you. Because this 5 and this 15. That reduces to 2. Because that 5 and 5 reduces to 10. That's 1. So. That's 2. So this person is going to try to have you in two minds. And this is the mental conflict, you know, that's showing. This is why this person is like stuck. Because maybe they got, you know, someone that's like a master manipulator. You know, the, the devil is a lie. He's a deceiver. He's fugazi. He pulls strings, tries to be a puppet master. So don't allow yourselves to be misled. Because somebody could be working on you like trying to trick you dupe you and we have universe here on the bottom of the deck and that 21 21 shows that you've reached the level of self mastery you know for you to get to the number 21 card which is the last card of the major arcana that shows like the great strides and efforts you took to to grow to heal to mature to gain a different perspective and we have Remedy meets Wu-Tang. And this is called Crazy Eights. So there's definitely somebody that's a little foof, like, like, cray-cray, like little fugazi that's coming around. Spirit is saying, you know, listen to this song. So we have, um, we have, um, who is this? So it's Wu-Tang. But I see um, it's Method Man and Ghostface and Inspector Deck from Wu-Tang. Rhyming with Remedy. And so what stuck out to me was Ghostface. So maybe this is somebody that ghosted you. Somebody ghosted you in the past. or somebody, Somebody's a little crazy. Uh, I'm picking that up because I see mental conflict, temptation... And the first word that came to me was projection. So someone's projecting their insecurities onto you. Why is music number 32 here for the outcome for my divine masculines? So we got a couple of cards that flew out. And we have heartache and loss here on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So there's definitely someone who's suffering from mental conflict, anguish, pain. And they could be trying to project their pain, hurt on to you there was a bunch of cards that flew out but two flew in the upright so we have the number five throat chakra and then we have the number three solar plexus so spirit is saying saying to 
um, to definitely trust your inner gumption. Also stand in your power. Be strong, be courageous, be wise in whatever decisions. But I also feel like there's conversation that's coming in. Someone has something they want to get off their chest. And I was picking up on that. We got wish fulfillment. We have um, the hermit. We have the authority. We have wise dome. We have financial and material changes. And then we also have triumphant success. So those are the other cards that flew out. So Spirit is saying there's definitely like, um, you know, the solitude has given someone an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. And there are some changes, you know, that may have taken place because there is this sense of like um, having to learn from a situation, you know, but moving out of that stubbornness of trying not to. You know, that, that moving out of that energy of being defiant, almost. And we have Cool in the Game, Summer Madness. This is like my favorite song of all time. So definitely what I'm seeing as an outcome is this positive. Because it says, you're going to have triumph for success. You have fulfillment of wishes. You know, but sitting in, in quiet, being isolated, helps you to master your craft, just as I said. Remember, I told you that five um, is definitely associated with the Hierophant. And remember, we saw the five here with change. So you've been making some sort of necessary changes, positive changes. You know, that's what the five represents, the Hierophant. See how he's holding that book? And it's like you've grown, you've learned from a situation. And it looks like you've learned from some sort of family dynamic or family setup. But then there's this devil here trying to tempt, tempt you, you know, trying to pull you back. But you look like you're on a voyage, you know, to learn more, to do more, to become more, you know. But there's something trying to tempt you back. And whenever you go back to something that you've already walked away from, you're repeating a cycle. So with this wisdom, it's like you've obtained the knowledge, the wisdom, the omni standing, the inner standing. To continue your journey in this lifetime, which is why we just saw the world card. The world card represents self mastery, elevation, it's graduating. And so, with this authority, this is the emperor. You've you've elevated into your divine masculine energy. You know this divine masculine makes things happen. He goes after what he wants. He doesn't back down from a challenge. Whatever changes that have taken place. It's like you're working them through. You're working them out. You're in solitude, mastering your craft and honing your skills and learning, more importantly. The hermit is very, very wise. He knows the answers he seeks are found within. And so you're going to come up with the best course of action because not only will this Ace of Swords give you clarity and truth, but it'll also give you the ability to cut yourself free from the things that no longer serve you, including this heavy ass energy. Someone trying to confuse you, manipulate you, dupe you, mind up you, gaslight you, trick you, deceive you, betray you. And with summer madness, I feel like someone's really upset because that madness, because you're just cool, calm, and collected. And you're doing what you need to do. And that's what spirit is rewarding you. There's wishes here. I kept seeing eights and I was saying it's like a fulfillment of a wish. There's a blessing. And spirit is blessing you because you deserve it. You've done the work. You've persevered. We saw the perseverance card. So spirit is absolutely going to reward you for your good deeds. And this is going to leave some some woman. Remember you had um, evil ways. So, you know, someone who could have been projecting some things on you. Maybe a child's mother, children's mother. Maybe even your own mother. You know, tried to have you all confused, mind upped, you know, telling you all the reasons why some of your ideas wouldn't work. Now they're feeling what they were trying to project onto you, the hurt, the pain, the loss, because I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're moving away from that energy. Yep, you're standing your ground, spiritual strength. Look at this. I can't make this ish up. See this? Look, I want to show you what I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck. This is powerful. So check this out. So 
So this is what you have on the bottom of your deck. So someone that's suffering emotional loss, it's because you're standing your ground. And in standing your ground, you've gained spiritual strength. Let me fix the card so you can see it. You've gained that spiritual strength and that awareness. That awareness card is the magician. It's the number one. And then you have that hope card yet again right behind it. So it's like you knew, you know, your purpose. You knew who you were. You knew the energy um, that you were in. You know what you're capable of because you are the magi. You are that alchemist. And look what we have on the next deck that I'm about to use to clarify. And then we're going to wrap it up. And we got that number five yet again, the Hierophant, Mature Man. So this is your this is a testament to your growth, you know, um, Divine Masculines. Um, I feel like you all have matured. And we have Little Kim, Missy Elliott, the Brat, Left Eye, Angie Martinez. And this is called Not Tonight. So remember, we had Red Man saying tonight's the night. Now we have um, Little Kim and them saying um, not tonight. So it is whatever conversation is not going to happen tonight. I feel like with this five mature men on the bottom of the deck, this is just a double, triple confirmation of how powerful, how wise, how spiritually strong you are. You've evolved, Divine Masculines. And that's why I feel the person, how they feel about you, they feel something different about you than what the cards are showing about you in your journey. That's why I said it was projection. With parenting and mental conflict, you know, as I said, I feel like this could either be your parent, you know, your parents, or this can be the parent of your child or your children. Let's see what we have on the split. On the split, we have the lovers. So we have the number five and then we have the number 15. And remember, we just saw that five and 15. That five and 15 is what is under, um, you know, what's hidden. So this could be someone who's kind of like obsessed with you. Um, someone who's, you know, kind of like refuses to let you go, refuses to leave you. Uh, but I also feel like this is spirit telling you to be in equilibrium and harmony because that is the only way that you can defeat, you know, a devil. That's the only way that you can, you know, defeat a devil is if you, you remain... Um, if you maintain that sense of um, clarity, you know, because look what we have here. You're wise enough to do so. Now, remember, the devil card and the lovers are like, you know, it's light and dark aspects of the same energy. So this is 5 and 15 here. The 5 and 15 was the change card and the temptation card. So what I'm seeing here is spirit is saying... Some of you all may have options. Some of you all may have someone who's uh, parading around as, you know, your divine counterpart. And they actually aren't. You have someone that's coming in that is actually a better fit for you. You know, and that's why Spirit is saying it's, it's not, it may not happen tonight. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on. Let's, let's clarify these messages. And I think I want to pull some messages for from uh, the dark grimoire also. But I'm going to see how I feel with what comes out here. With these cards. I'm using the Kipper right now. On Spirit of Love and Light. I have a message of love and a message of light. For my Divine Masculines. See, I'm seeing a child. Number 18. And that still reduces to 9. And remember, we had the 63 child and mental conflict is how they feel about you. So divine spirit of love and light. They have a message of love, message of light for my divine masculines. I'm just cutting the deck. And we have not tonight, little Kim, Missy Elliott, the brat. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's a brat. So we got, um, we have the um, number 20 and this is house. And so someone's leaving. I feel like someone's leaving a house. Maybe you all made a decision to move out of a home. You moved out of a house. Because what I'm getting from here, you know, um, this house was not a home. You know, I'm, I'm hearing Luther Vandross's song. 
This house is not alone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm hearing that. So with this eight, 96, 8, and 20, it reduces to 16. That's 7. So this is like, I mean, it reduces, you know, I'm getting the 6 and the 20. That's 8 and then the 8. So what I'm, what I'm instantly getting is someone moved away. Someone left. Someone had some sort of download like they need to leave. They were unhappy. You took your power back and left the situation. You had to forgive someone. It's like Spirit is saying like, you know, you had to forgive a situation that didn't work out. Maybe you resided with this person. You lived with this person like the mother of your child. You know, maybe even your own parents. Maybe this is like healing family issues situation. But if that isn't the case, like with a mother or father, this is just healing um, you know, a family issue with like the mother to your child. I feel like you cohabitated with someone that you had children with or a child with and something went really bad. Something went went wrong within that connection and then someone left. Someone moved away. Someone moved out and left you with, you know, all of the responsibilities. This could be a vice versa situation. But I feel like it was definitely a domestic situation. And, you know, everything in you told you to leave. Leave it behind. Move on. There was a lot of things going on in this house or under this roof that maybe you weren't privy to, you weren't aware of. We have expectation. So there was someone who was expecting more from a connection. And maybe there was a lot of resistance. There was a lack of reciprocity. Because we have 28 expectation. And remember we have 91 surrender. And number 19 light. So this is 10, 10, 10. It was absolutely the demise of a relationship. Something came to a head. Someone was being stubborn. Someone saw the light. And they could have just moved on. They had expectations that this connection was going to move forward. And it was just perhaps stuck and stagnant. Because someone refused to surrender. Someone refused to open up. They refused to be available emotionally. And we have um, You Remind Me playing by Mary J. Blige. So someone is was reminded constantly of... You know, it was just like... Someone's constantly being reminded of another person that's no longer in their life because they've since moved on. It's like there's an epiphany happening. And the tens reduces to one. We got 91, that reduces to 10, that's one. We got 19, that reduces to 10, that's one. And now we have this 28 expectation. So someone has some sort of like, they're ex they were expecting something. They were expecting someone to see them. They didn't felt seen. But maybe now there's this, this clarity, this, you know, this fog is kind of dissipating. So let's tap in. Let's see. Why is 91 for the um, surrender 19 light here for what? Uh, for the overall energy of the message of love and light spirit. Thank you. Goodness, that flew up and out. And it says message. So remember we heard um, speechless. So maybe somebody is going to tell you something and leave you speechless. Because we have this message coming. And I feel like this message is going to change something. They could call you. And this is you remind me. So someone is going to tell you something. And maybe this will make you feel differently. Maybe you will... Look at the situation a little differently. But there's some sort of message. The overall energy is someone wants to send a message. They want to tell you something. Because what she says in the song is, You, you remind me of a love that I once knew. 
Is it a dream or is it deja vu? I just had to let you know, so I had to sing it. Cause with you, boy, I don't know the way you walk in. So this is what she's saying. So somebody could be revealing something to you that could be like leave you speechless. Like somebody could be confessing. So maybe this is someone different. You know, this could be someone completely different than this person that could be projecting. Because the energy, you know, what we're about to pull is the how someone feels about you. We have this energy here. 19 coffin. And remember that 19 came out. So this is someone that feels like the situation is like dead, stinking, and buried, you know, especially with the 63, the 9, that's parenting, and then the number 2, mental conflict, and then we have this coffin, it's like, it's a dead situation. And I feel like it's dead because of the way that someone is perceiving it, someone is looking at it. So they're projecting, like I said, um, how they feel onto you, maybe because you're not giving them the time of day, you're not... You're not communicating, so they feel like it's dead. They feel like, you know, they're very stressed out about this situation. And we have Lords of the Underground, Chief Rocker playing. And Lord is another term for Divine Masculine. So Lords of the Underground, Underground is what? You know, that's where bodies are buried. It's, it's buried underground. So they definitely feel like you've deaded this situation you've deaded them you're not even open but let's tap and let's see so why is 63 parenting 22 mental conflict thank you spirit and we have wealthy man see that and that's the number 13 so they feel like you leaving them behind like they, they, they definitely they feel like you are a catch because it's 13 reduces to four we already see lord you know lords of the underground lord is another term for the emperor the the divine masculine you know i said that in the very beginning lord god um so this person definitely sees that you are in fact the divine masculine it goes the authoritarian remember we have that card flew out for the outcome this person sees you in your power you know, you've taken your power back. It's like they are very conflicted, you know, because it's almost like they've missed some sort of opportunity. It's like they now look at you like the one that got away, perhaps. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we have poverty. So they can't survive without you. You know, it's almost as if this person is feeling like, dang, um, you know, I let a real one get, get away, you know, because maybe they were feeling... And maybe this could be your sentiment, but it's like someone was playing almost like hard to get or someone. It was like they were a hard. Um, it was like a hard nut to crack. Or a hard egg to crack. It's like you can't get in. They also felt like you was conflicted mentally. You know, you never knew what you wanted. It was always in two minds, always kind of like flip flop. Maybe this is how they feel. But I feel like a lot of this is projection. I feel like a lot of you also focus on your coins instead of on relationships. Maybe this is why they perceive you that way. Like you was just more so focused on money. Focused on your careers, focused on material possessions we're about to pull the card for um what's hidden and we have five change and remember we have 15 temptation and remember on the bottom of the deck we got that 37 poverty so whoever this person is i'm definitely feeling like they are struggling and this is why they're trying to tempt you back with them it's almost like control this is a control mechanism because this is still 2, that 5 and that 15 still reduces to 2. Because that reduces to 20. So, so yeah, this is definitely like somebody who's trying to keep you conflicted. 
they I feel like this person because remember we had evil ways you know that keeps sticking out to me and whenever you see the devil show up this is not this is not no like rainbows and, and sunshines this is someone like kind of trying to you know do something like manipulate your energy tempt you off your path they see you are on you know the precipice of something beautiful something new and so they're jumping in you know because this is what's hidden so this is like a hidden enemy with this um temptation here and that's why i was picking up heavily like you know don't allow anyone to persuade you to do anything that's why intuition showed up because spirit wants you to trust your intuition. That's why that number three and that number four showed up because that is yin and yang. You have to be in harmony with yourself. Even the harmony card showed up. So this may not even be about love. This just may be, you know, showing you that you have to remain in harmony with yourself. If it is about love, you got to be very mindful of who, you know, check for the signs, the red flags, check for all of that. Because I'm telling you, there's someone who's just trying to leech on. You know, this is like a leech. If somebody is going through this, that's why I said, if someone, someone's returning, talking about I'm pregnant and it's yours, get a DNA test. Like, don't just believe what someone's saying. But let's proceed. So why is 5 and 15, the 5 change and this 5, uh, I mean this 15 temptation. So we have an, um, that flew out. Well, I can't make this up. See this? We have the number 24 thief, and then we have the number 10 journey. This is what spirit is telling you to do. You got a thief. And look who's there. You got a child that looks like a younger boy, a grown woman, and a man. So this man looks very wealthy. He looks like he got he got it going on. So spirit is saying, like, you need to leave that situation behind. Because these people are plotting. That's what the devil does. He plots, he schemes, he scams. He deceives, he betrays. This is his MO. You know? So this is, I'm going to show you all of the cards just so you can see them. This is what's hidden in the energy. So your transformation, your change, the change that you're making, which could be like you saying, okay, I want to move. I want to relocate. This is, you know, the situation is, is done. Remember we heard the train earlier. There was also sirens going off. So we knew there was going to be some heavy energy and we see it right here. You got these people plotting and scheming on you. And Spirit is saying you need to move away from that energy. You need to change locations. You need to change your way of like your perspective on perhaps a particular person. Because, you know, this is about moving, relocating. Remember that house is not a home. I was hearing earlier. And that's what this is all about right here. Because remember, this 96, 6, and 8 along with that 20 this all reduces to seven so seven is about movement it's the chariot it's also about finding that balance mind body and soul you know that equilibrium if you will and we have poor righteous teachers rock this funky joint playing so you've definitely been learning you're like a teacher this person is a student they're not on your level you've been studying you've been mastering your craft that's why you had the wisdom card the wise dome card show up because this is proof to the studentship you know there's levels and someone's trying to pull you back down with them and look what you have here the 11 on the bottom of the deck sudden wealth someone can smell up with not with money like you know that from the movie um <laughs> i always say this <laughs> but um paid in full it's like i can smell them like money and, and that's what somebody could do it's like they could tell that you are like you're receiving some sort of blessing it's 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 evident and it's it's because you've done the work you know you've been healing you've been growing you've been mastering your craft and and you're going to be wealthy and someone is poor, someone is jealous, someone is like, someone is struggling, so they could be just using, you know, attempting to use you for money, attempting to, to just um, dupe you into taking care of them. And so with this sudden wealth, some of you all have some sort of blessing. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is uh, 32 music? 
the throat chakra. Some of you could be artists. Some of you could be musicians even. You know, singers, rappers. Some of you may play instruments. Some of you may, you know, write music, sheet music. Maybe some of you are um, poets, authors. You're doing like audio books, self-help books, writing your autobiography. Like you could be very creative. And that's what spirit is saying. Like, don't get distracted by the distractions. Focus on mastering your craft. You could be having some dope ideas. I see number four here, courtship on the bottom of the deck. So it definitely looks like you will be in some sort of beautiful union and you will be courting that young lady. So that's why I was feeling like somebody's trying to tempt you, distract you off your path, off your course. So why is 32? Look at that. It flew back out. Sudden wealth. Y'all got some sort of wish fulfillment coming. Look at this. This flew literally right back out as I was shuffling. This is a wish fulfillment. This is a blessing. And I feel like it's justified. Spirit is saying this is a part of your karma. You receive what you get back. Like the seeds that you sowed, whether in good or bad faith, it's going to either provide a harvest or not. And I feel like there's something ruling in your favor. I, f I see marriage here. You know, you got 15 lovers and judication. So there could be like a twin flame, a yin to your yang that's coming in. And with poor righteous teachers, I feel like you all, you know, have been teaching and learning in this process. Whether you realize it or not. Very powerful master manifestors. Very powerful healers, shamans. Like you all have, you know, really, um, really elevated And you've grown tremendously. I just see growth. And it's been repeated. Don't allow the distractions to distract you. And definitely don't take anyone's word for face value. If anybody returns from your past. You know, if any of you get news about pregnancy. And, oh, this child is yours. Even if there's a child that you've always questioned. You know, it was always like a question in your head like is this my child I feel like trust your gut instinct you know um I'm seeing like y'all could even go to like you know a um pharmacy and you could get like DNA tests if I'm not mistaken like over the counter and you could do your own DNA tests you don't even have to tell the child's mother because that will cause a bunch of arguing and fighting do the DNA um, test on you, you know, on that child that's in question on your own, and 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 act accordingly, deal accordingly. But I feel like you know some of you all could have been like questioning the paternity of a child. You know, maybe the dates didn't add up, something didn't add up. Maybe she just popped up and was nine months pregnant so fast, and you was like, damn, my math, her math is different. You know, and you always had that in the back of your mind. If that's the case, check. Maybe some of you all discovered that you were adopted. You know, maybe you found out that your mother and your father aren't really your mother and father. You know, not your biological parents. But they are the ones that raised you. Maybe they kept that from you for most of your lives. Whatever the case may be. Um, I see goodness here. I see, you know, you're going to be receiving blessings, wish fulfillment because you've persevered through some really difficult times. I feel like you got a real sneaky, you know, cunning type of energy around you and you need to be mindful. Um, whoever that feminine was, whoever this person is, they have some evil ways, evil tendencies, and they will try to tempt you, lure you, persuade you, dupe you, manipulate you into doing things that they want you to do and um, you need to really be mindful because with this energy right here they could be you know after your coins they could be after um, they could be after anything right now we have Marvin Gaye and this is called symphony so this is what I'm seeing right here with this temptation and then you got the thief so this is and there's two people here teaming up to work against this one man and this this person right here looks like 
you know, a child to me. So this could be someone that could be using a child, um, you know, as, as like emotional manipulation, even. And spirit is saying, look, you need you need to change because this is like this is competitive. Fives can be the energy of com competition, uh, confusion, challenging energy, you know, so someone could be trying to challenge you. But I do feel like there's karma. Karma is here. I definitely feel like, you know, you're going to plan to leave a situation if you were living with another person in this big old house that doesn't feel warm. Doesn't feel inviting, doesn't feel like a home or like your safe space or your safe haven. I feel like you're moving out of it. You're making a decision to leave somebody. But this is your reading. I thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in my divine masculines. Um, if you found that the messages resonated, as I said in the beginning, please be kind. Hit that like button, the share button. Definitely get the, the video into the algorithm so others can discover the messages. If you are new, I hope you uh, enjoyed the reading. I hope the reading resonated with you. I hope my energy, my vibe resonated with you. Um, if that's the case, don't be shy. Subscribe to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. Um, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload because I upload very sporadically. It's more so when spirit tells me to upload a post to just doing it every day. Um, there's distance. So some of you all could be traveling um, or visiting someone or someone could be visiting you. Remember we had Red Man saying tonight's the night and then we had Esther, uh, uh, Little Kim, Angie Martinez, Left Eye. Um, Missy Elliott's in the brat singing and not tonight so something's not gonna happen as soon as was initially anticipating as you were initially anticipating but I feel like it's going to still happen maybe there's some sort of delay but I am feeling like you know things are working out in your favor like good karma is coming to you based off of the seeds that you've sown in the past like your good deeds your good efforts your hard work will pay you off you know but this is your reading um for all of you who are returning beloved you already know what it is love is love is love until next time i send a big fat ass peace